In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see about the various nutrients that have been essentially required for the microorganism to survive that. So, the nutritional requirements of the microorganism have been shown there through a periodic table. The nutrients that are required for the microorganisms can be divided into major and essential nutrient for all the life forms. That includes carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, then hydrogen. So, hydrogen serves as an important component there. If you recollect, this particular elements alone serve as an important nutrient there in forming the different kinds of macromolecules or biomolecules. Say for example, carbohydrate is the one which is made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Whereas, protein is the one in which nitrogen is further added to the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Lipids are the one in which carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and certain phosphorus will be there. Nucleic acid is the one in which carbohydrate that is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, then nitrogen that is forming into the uh, nucleotides there that is adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine. They are all the nitrogen ringed molecules that have been present there in the nucleic acid. Apart from that, phosphorus forms as a phosphodiester bond for the nucleic acid. The next list is the major cation that are required for all the life forms that have been shown there in an orange color. That includes calcium, magnesium, sodium as well as the potassium. The major anion that has been present in all the life form is only chlorine. Next we look at the essential trace elements for the life. The very essential trace element is played by selenium. Selenium is the one which is required for the specific amino acid that is selenocysteine synthesis. So, that is important. Apart from that, the next group is certain elements that are playing some specialized role there in the cells. Here, it includes boron, fluorine, silica. Say for example, silica are required for the formation of the cell wall of the diatoms. That is the coating on the cell wall is made with the help of silica frustules. Now, we will try to learn in detail about every different nutrients that have been functioning there in the living organism. So, for that, what is nutrition? Nutrition is a process by which chemical substances called nutrients are acquired from the environment and used in cellular activity, especially in metabolism as well as in the growth. What is a nutrient? Any substance whether it is used in an elemental form, say for example sulfur or a molecular form, say for example water, that must be provided to an organism and it's essential for its growth and metabolism is referred as a nutrient. Once the nutrient is absorbed, they are all processed, transformed into chemical substance or biomolecules inside the cell. So, already we have seen the different biomolecule that is carbohydrate, lipid, protein and nucleic acid. All these things are in turn made up of the elements or various molecules that serve as a nutrient there in the living system. Next, we look at into the two categories of essential nutrients that are required for the microorganism growth and metabolism. They are, first one is a macronutrient which is also referred as a macro elements. The next one is a micronutrient or it is also called as a micro element or trace element. Now, we look at the definition for macronutrient or macro element. They are the nutrients that are required in relatively large quantities that is from a millimolar to molar concentration they are required for the growth of the organism. Their role is to provide energy as well as building the cell structure and participate there in the metabolism. Examples of the macro elements includes carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. They are commonly present there in the macromolecules such as proteins and carbohydrates. Now we look at the definition for micro elements or trace elements or micronutrient. They are required in a small quantities especially in a 0.01 to 1 micromolar concentration is required for proper growth and development. They may not be 
required in a large quantity like macro element but they are essentially required for a proper growth and development of the organisms they play important role in the enzyme function as well as maintenance of the protein structure there in the cells examples of the micro element or micronutrient is zinc nickel copper say for example zinc is the one which is participating in all the five classes of enzyme that are being involved there in the metabolism next we look at into the explanation for the various macronutrients then major cations then what are all micro elements and then what are the growth factors that are required for the microorganism to grow and finally into the amino acids and nucleotides this part has been split in such a way in the first column the name of the element has been given and the second and third column says the average and range at which it has been present there in the cell system and the next column refers to what is the source from which it can be collected from the environment or what is the form in which it can be taken from the environment and used by the organism what type of transport system may be involved there is shown in the next column and the last column says about the function of that particular element there in the cell system so this part has been given there in your web page also in the unit 1 notes if you go and click the first one you can able to see the detail of the same thing has been available as a excel sheet there in the web page you can download this excel sheet and go through the explanation about the various nutrients among the various nutrient we will try to understand something about the growth factors all other nutrients you can read by yourself and you can able to understand here the growth factors refer to certain organic compounds that are commonly required in a small quantities for the growth and metabolism of the organism these are essential for the organism's growth the reason is this growth factors cannot be synthesized by the organism with the use of other available nutrients so they need to be artificially supplied there in the medium they are referred as a growth factor among the various growth factors vitamins play major role there and among the vitamins also it is vitamin b that plays important role there in the metabolism this vitamin b is available in different forms such as thiamine riboflavin nicotinic acid or niacin which is referred as a b3 and next one pantothenic acid pyridoxine biotin folic acid and cobalamin among these different forms of b vitamin nicotinic acid or niacin is playing a major role there mainly in the formation of the nad and nadp that is nicotine adenine dinucleotide and nicotine adenine dinucleotide phosphate so they are the important coenzymes that have been involved in the hydrogen transfer that during the electron transport chain operation so this vitamin is essentially required for all the living organisms including human what is the main source from which the b vitamins will be available for the microorganisms it is mainly from the yeast extract the yeast extract which you use there in the laboratory classes is the one from which the vitamin b is supplied so it is a water soluble fraction of autolyzed brewers yeast that is the industrially produced yeast it's a valuable source of b vitamin that it supplies the b vitamin and it also supplies the nitrogen which is essential required for most of the organism in order to build the proteins apart from this nicotinic acid the other b vitamins and their roles have been shown there in the columns that have been highlighted apart from the b vitamins heming coenzyme m vitamin k citrophores and lipoic acid are the other forms of vitamins that are commonly required by the organism that is except the sidrophores sidrophores refers to certain organic compounds that are involved there in the iron transport that is iron binding compounds produced by the microorganism they solubilize and they help in the transport of iron inside the cells apart from these vitamins 
Another important growth factor refers to amino acid as well as nucleotides. These nucleotides refers to adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine. The amino acids refers to the 21 different kinds of amino acids that are essentially required to build up the protein system of the cell. 